Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle stoichiometry, theoretical and percent yield. So in our previous video, napag-aralan natin yung paano mag-balance ng chemical equation, paano malaman yung molar mass ng isang element or compound, yung mole-to-mole -mole ratio, mass-to-mass -mass ratio, limiting reactant, at yung excess reactant, at yung leftover niya. Ngayon, yung theoretical and percent yield naman ang aalamin natin. So, let's start with the formulas na gagamitin natin. Again, lagi ko lang din yung limiting reactant formula. So, we have given grams A over the quantity grams per mole times mo ng coefficient A, greater than or less than sa given grams B over the quantity grams per mole times mo ng coefficient B. Again, the lesser value yun yung limiting reactant. As a theoretical yield naman and percent yield formula, we need the limiting reactant kasi. So, yung formula dito is given grams ng limiting reactant times mo ng coefficient ng product times mo ng grams per mole ng product over the quantity of the grams per mole ng limiting reactant the times mo sa coefficient ng limiting reactant. At makukuha mo dan yung theoretical yield. Sa percent yield naman, that will be actual yield over theoretical yield. That times mo ng 100%. So color-coded naman siya, so it will be easier for you to identify kung ni yung mga variables. Take note, the chemical equation should be balanced first before computing the ratio. Kung hindi siya balanced, kahit anong tama ng solution mo, mali pa rin siya. Pangalawa, if there are no coefficients dun sa chemical equation, then understood na one yun. Pangatlo, if the limiting reactant is not given, should be solved first. Minsan kasi may problems na andyan na yung limiting reactant. And lastly, the theoretical yield must always be higher than the actual yield. Kung hindi, may mali dun sa computation. Alright, so let's have some examples and solutions. First type of ng problem, excess element or compound. So sa problem, nakalagay dun yung excess element or compound. Kaya tulad nito, the combustion of 45 grams of methane in the presence of excess oxygen, take note, excess oxygen, produces 75 grams of carbon dioxide. What is the theoretical and percent yield? So dahil excess oxygen, so yung methane na ang magiging limiting reactant natin. So ang equation natin is methane plus mo ng oxygen gas times mo ng S equal to Carbon dioxide plus water. Yung magiging product nila. Ngayon, we need to balance the equation. So, magiging kalabasan niyan is 1CH4 plus 2O2. Yung product ay 1CO2 plus 2H2O. Kapag na-balance na natin at alam na rin natin na limiting reactant is yung methane, so hindi na natin kailangan yung formula for the limiting reactant. So, diretso na tayo sa theoretical yield. So, we have the, that one will be Given grams of the limiting reactant, times mo ng coefficient ng product, times mo ng grams per mole ng product. Over mo siya sa lahat sa quantity ng grams per mole ng limiting reactant, times mo sa coefficient ng limiting reactant. At yun para makuha ang theoretical yield. Yun, kailangan natin substitute siya. So, one by one natin siyang gawin. So, given grams ng limiting reactant, again, that is methane. At ang given grams niya is 45 Grams, so lagi ko na 45. Ang coefficient ng product, so it's either CO2 or H2O. So ang product natin dito is yung carbon dioxide. Kasi produces 75 grams of carbon dioxide. So yung coefficient nun ng CO2 ay 1. At next mo, we have the grams per mole ng product. So ang molar mass ng CO2, that will be 44.01. So okay na tayo sa taas, sa baba naman. Grams per mole ng limiting reactant or yung grams per mole ng methane, that is 16.04. At ang coefficient ng limiting reactant natin, ng CH4, is 1. Next one, we're going to simplify it. So, answer na natin. 45 times 1 ng 1 times 1 ng 44.01. Divide mo siya lahat sa 16.04. And the answer will be 123.469 grams. So, yung sagot na yan, yung 123.469 grams, ay yung theoretical yield natin. Ngayon, para mahanap yung percent yield, ang formula dyan is actual yield 
Oberman theoretical yield na times mo siya ng 100%. So, substitute natin siya. Ang actual yield natin is 75 grams. Okay? Kasi produce sa 75 grams daw. The combustion of 45 grams of methane in the presence of excess oxygen will produce 75 grams of carbon dioxide. Over mo siya sa theoretical yield natin, that is 123.469. Ngayon, mumultiply siya ng 100% and the answer will be 60.74%. So, yun yung percent yield. Again, hindi pwedeng ma mas mababa ang theoretical yield dun sa actual yield. Kung hindi, may mali sa computation natin. Right, number 2. Type 2 ng problem. One reactant is only provided with grams. So, 10 grams of ammonia react completely based on the chemical reaction below. The 15 grams of urea are produced. What is the percent yield for this reaction? So, we have a chemical equation of NH3 plus CO2. Ang product daw ay CN2OH4 plus H2O. Again, we need to balance the equation. So, that will be 2NH3 plus 1CO2. Then, the product will be 1CN2OH4 plus H2O. If you're having problems how to balance the chemical equation, tapos kunin yung molar mass, meron akong link sa description box. You may check it out. Alright, next one. We have to place the theoretical yield formula. That is... Given grams of the limiting reactant times mo ng coefficient ng product times mo ng grams per mole ng product or the molar mass. Divide mo siya sa quantity of the grams per mole of the limiting reactant that times mo siya sa coefficient ng limiting reactant. So I'll start with the numerator. So in given grams ng limiting reactant natin, that will be 10. And the coefficient natin ng product, that will be 1. And the grams per mole ng urea, that will be 60.06, yung CN2OH4. Okay, let's go to the denominator. Grams per mole ng limiting reactant or yung ammonia, molar mass niya is 17.03. And the coefficient ng ammonia dun sa equation is 2. So we're going to simplify it now to get the answer. Yung 10 times mo ng 1, na times mo ng 60.06, over mo siya lahat sa quantity ng 17.03 times ng 2, and that will be 17.63 grams. Now, let's find out kung percent yield for this reaction. Ang actual yield mo is 15 grams of urea. So, divide ko siya sa 17.63, at yung sagot nun, ito times ko ng 100, at ilalagay ko yung percent sign. And the percent yield will be 85.08%. So, again, to the question... 10 grams of ammonia react completely based on the chemical reaction below. If 15 grams of urea are produced, ano daw yung percent yield dun sa reaction? So, theoretical yield natin is 17.63. At ang percent yield, that will be 85.08%. Alright, third type ng problem, combustion problem. So, you have a problem of 40 grams of potassium chlorate is heated until it completely decomposes. What is the theoretical yield of oxygen gas? The experiment is performed and the oxygen gas is collected and its mass is found to be 14.9 grams at ano daw yung percent yield dun sa reaction. So we have a chemical equation of KClO3 and the product niya is KCl plus O2. So let's balance the chemical equation. So that will be 2 potassium chlorate at yung magiging product niya will be 2 potassium chloride plus mo ng 3O2. Pag na, nakuha mo na, pag nabalance mo na yung chemical equation, at alam naman natin na ang limiting reactant lang is yung potassium chloride. Kasi isa lang siya dun eh. Isa lang yung reactant natin. So, technically, ito na yung magiging limiting reactant natin. Again, we'll place the theoretical yield formula. At as given grams ng limiting reactant, the times mo sa coefficient ng product, at the times mo siya sa grams per mole ng product, over mo siya sa lahat sa quantity ng grams per mole ng limiting reactant, at multiply to the coefficient of the limiting reactant para makuha yung theoretical yield. So, i-substitute natin. So, we'll start with the numerator. Given grams ng limiting reactant is 40. Sa so product naman, that will be yung 3O2. So, 3 ang coefficient. Kasi oxygen yung, ano, yung found to be 14.9 grams ng oxygen gas. At ang molar mass ng O2 is 32. So, okay na ako sa numerator. Let's go to the denominator. Sa so denominator naman, 
grams per mole ng limiting reactant. So, molar mass ng potassium chlorate is 122.55. Mumultiply mo siya sa coefficient nun ng limiting reactant, that will be 2. So, simplify it, and the, that will be 40 times mo ng 3 times mo ng 32. Over mo lahat yan sa quantity ng 122.55 times ng 2. And the answer will be 15.67 grams. In yung theoretical yield dun sa problem. Now, we're going to find the percent yield. Percent yield again, that's actual yield. Over mo ng theoretical yield, that times mo ng 100%. Actual yield natin is 14.9 as stated in the problem. Divide mo siya sa theoretical yield which is 15.67. Multiply it by 100 and the answer will be 95.09%. Alright, so last part tayo ng problem. Type 4, limiting reactant is not stated. So, 3.25 grams of silicon and 2.5 grams of nitrogen react which is the limiting reactant. What is the theoretical yield in grams if there are 4.5 grams of the product are obtained? What is the percent yield? So we have an equation of silicon plus manang N2. Ang product na ay silicon nitride or Si3N4. Can we need to balance the chemical equation? So that will be 3Si plus 2N2. Ang product niya will be 1Si3N4. Dahil hindi natin alam ko ng limiting reactant, we need to find it. So, place the limiting reactant formula. So, na nakalagay sa screen. And we're going to substitute it. So, I'll start with the left side first. So, given grams A, yung sa silicon, that will be 3.25. Over mo siya sa grams per mole ng silicon at the times mo siya sa coefficient niya. So, a molar mass ng silicon or grams per mole is 28.09. Ang coefficient niya is 3. So, doon naman tayo sa right side, we have 2.5 grams of nitrogen. So, yung sa right side. Over mo siya sa quantity ng grams per mole ng nitrogen, which is 28.01, and coefficient niya is 2. So, we're just going to simplify it. So, 3.25, divide mo siya sa quantity 28.09 times 3. At yung sa kabila mo naman, that will be 2.5, over mo siya sa quantity 28.01 times 2. So, dun sa left side, we have 0 0.0386 at yung sa kanan is 0 0.045. Again, the lesser value yung limiting reactant. So, ang limiting reactant natin dito, dahil yung mababang 0 0.0386, ang limiting reactant will be silicon. Dahil alam na natin ng silicon and limiting reactant, we can now find the theoretical yield. So, alam na natin by placing the theoretical yield formula. So, that will be given grams ng limiting reactant, multiply mo siya sa coefficient ng product, and times it to the grams per mole ng product. Over mo siya lahat sa quantity ng grams per mole ng limiting reactant and multiply it to the coefficient ng limiting reactant. So let's substitute it. So I'll start with the numerator. We have 3.25 in yung sa silicon. Na times mo siya sa coefficient ng product. Ito yung Si3N4. So that will be 1. And multiply it to din sa molar mass noon. So that will be 140.28. Now, sa denominator naman, Ang grams per mole ng silicon is 28.09 at ang coefficient niya ay 3. So we're going to answer it now by simplifying it. So that will be 3.25 multiply mo sa 140.28. Divide mo siya lahat yan sa quantity ng 28.09 times 3 and the answer will be 5.41 grams. Ito yung theoretical yield. Now, for the percent yield, lagi ko let yung formula that will be actual yield over theoretical yield times mo ng 100%. So that will be 4.5 in yung actual yield natin over mo ng 5.41. That's the theoretical yield. Multiply to 100 and put a percent sign and the answer will be 83.18%. So that's the percent yield. And we already solved the problem. And that's the end of the lesson on how to find the theoretical and percent yield. Next video natin will be about gas law. So, gas law natin, ito yung Boyce law and Charles law. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, at kung may ko, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.